glorious day today because my credit card reward points redemptions have come in and now I am about $150 richer in McDonald's, Subway, and Tim Hortons gift cards. Today we are going downtown so I figured I would vlog some of it. We're gonna go to a hype store which I've shown you guys once before. I gotta pick up some stuff from them, drop off some pairs for them to sell. But first, hello. How are you doing today? How are you? <laughs> Opening the legs. Okay. Hello. How you doing, baby? Rub the belly. Rubbing off the belly. You just sunbathing? Not binge watching Netflix, obviously. Misty also recently acquired a uh, a black carpet right here. She has like a celebrity walkway right here now, a black carpet. So when she's out in the snow, she just comes out onto this little area and then into her crate. Really, really stylish. I see you, girl. I see you. I also want to let you guys know I am going to be showing you guys a small hype beast bape haul in the this video about a thousand dollars worth of stuff some really really dope stuff so if you're a fan of Bape you will enjoy this haul but first off have you guys seen this new Jordan brand revealing for spring 2018 they're dropping these in the month of February for the all-star weekend stuff we got the black cement threes we got the Tinker Hatfield threes which look really really weird to me it's a Jordan 3 essentially with a swoosh on the side we also got the white cement air Jordan threes but these are not your typical white cement threes they also have a icy blue bottom so that throws those off and then over here we have Flyknit Air Jordan 3s. They are putting Flyknit on the Air Jordan 3. What's next? They're gonna put it on every single other Air Jordan. I mean I'm not complaining. These Jordan 3s look really good. I might have to pick the, I'm probably gonna have to pick these up. These look awesome, awesome execution of flying it on this Jordan model. I've also been getting a bunch of DMs and emails from people who have won merch or other giveaways over the last three weeks. And uh, I have to let you guys know, if I haven't DM'd you already, your prizes will be shipped out very, very soon. I've just, you know, been in Japan, so I wasn't able to ship the merch while I was in Japan. I actually hand packed the merch and everything myself Myself. Sometimes I include a little something extra whenever I pack it. But uh, yeah, just to let you guys know, if you won any giveaways, sit tight. Your prizes will be on the way soon. And on that note, if you guys haven't heard, Instagram is changing their new algorithm and it's just really, really annoying. So if you guys could do me a huge favor, please turn on post notifications on my Instagram at sneakertalkca. We're doing another giveaway over there as well. We're giving away some Supreme, some Converse Tyler the Creators, and some Bape. So make sure you enter that Hype Beast giveaway and turn on post notifications if you didn't know yet we actually do this notification gang thing on my Instagram where if you comment on the photo and like the photo within the first five minutes you're entered to win various prizes such as supreme stickers merch and we're gonna soon be doing gift cards for like full locker champs foot action so it's gonna be pretty lit so make sure you turn on post notifications and stay active on my Instagram at sneaker talk CA. a lot of people have asked me about this bait mouse pad I have right here and this is actually fake it's it's super fake I got it off eBay. It was only like $8. I was like, I need a mouse pad. I want to buy a Bape one. I couldn't find a real Bape mouse pad, so I bought this. I mean, $8. Can you blame me? Can you blame me? So I think it's time I show you guys the other Bape pickups I got from Japan. It's quite a few pieces. They're actually really, really dope. The very first piece I want to show you guys is this Bape t-shirt, a black, a bathing ape t-shirt. Something about this shirt I didn't notice when I got um, was that this camouflage ape head right here actually has a reflective coating on it. So it is like a 3M reflective material. You can see it gloss and shine at nighttime when light does hit it. It's really, really dope. So we have the Bape head right here, a bathing ape in white text underneath, nothing on the back. And uh, yeah, size large. If you guys do wanna buy Bape, then make sure you go a size up in their clothing because it is Japanese sizing after all. This t-shirt is really dope and it's super simple. You can wear this very often. And uh, yeah, let's see what it looks like on body. The next two pickups are matchy, matchy. Um, it is a jumpsuit track, I think it's a sweat, sweatsuit, sweatsuit, that's what you call it. Um, so the very first thing is a Bape hoodie in that same yellow camouflage. This is a college logo, a bathing ape hoodie. And this is the same camouflage print of that first shark hoodie that Kenchi Toronto sent me, uh, that yellow one, the Poner one. And so I really like that camouflage. And now I have this right here, this pull over sweater. It says a bathing ape right across the chest with the ape face. We also have a bathing ape on the hood. 
portion right here too. Now, disappointingly, um, I wish I wish this was actually like stitched in or embroidered, considering like the price of these cost, how how expensive these are. Um, but instead, it's just a screen print. The matching piece I got along with that, which I think I'm probably just gonna wear once and maybe like trade it off or something. But we got the yellow shark sweatpants as well to match that hoodie. So we're gonna flex on the gram for some really ridiculous photos with these two pieces together. Vape yellow camo sweatpants right here with the shark face on the crotch staring you right in the face. And then here is the booty area too. There's a small pocket on the side here. Um, and yeah, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. I got a size small. I wish I got a size medium. But uh, yeah, with that said, let's throw these on body. And then last but not least, onto the final piece. This piece really excites me. I'm pumped I actually was able to pick up this piece. This is another Bape Bomber jacket. And I picked up this jacket from the Aoyama store and it's so nice, man. It's so nice. I don't know if Kenshi has any of these left right now, but if you guys do want to buy any Bape, I would recommend you guys check out Kenshi.ca and use code SneakerTalk for 10% off. This is the jacket right here. It's a black camouflage Bape jacket. It says Bape right across here on the chest. And the thing I love about this is basically 80% of the jacket is this black camouflage. And then on the left sleeve, the left arm, it's just all white. It's all basic white. They also include a BAPE tag right here, which is a nice little touch. You can buy these tags separately, which I did, but they're very expensive. I bought two just to put on my other jackets. So this is the front of the jacket. And wait for the back. This is the back. Bam. BAPE with that giant BAPESTA star and this massive, thick graphic print on the back of this black camouflage. This thing pops man this thing pops it is such a nice jacket and i am really really looking forward to wearing this now i also got a size large for this jacket and the other shark jacket i got the black one was also a size large however i found this jacket to fit very snug so i actually don't need to layer a hoodie under this if i want to wear it which is really nice which means i can wear this jacket on those cool spring days so that is going to be awesome looking forward to that for sure now there are a couple other pickups that are not bape which i haven't necessarily shown you guys on the channel except for in one video but these are the supreme pickups i also picked up in japan for this trip i did a 500 dollars supreme thrifting challenge if you guys want to see that video i'll leave it linked down below but these are the pickups from that video so i ended up getting two supreme t-shirts in japan from a thrift store we got this black one right here where it says supreme across in this like curved box logo you can say it's a little bit older um the black sort of has faded a little bit but it is still in excellent condition and it is a size medium which is my size which means no compromises there was a bunch of stores with good supreme but it just wasn't in my size so that's the first piece The second piece is this white Supreme t-shirt, size medium as well. It has this gold red foil across the front. Really dope piece and I'm going to be wearing this a bunch over the summer. And then the last piece. This is the last piece I picked up right here. It is a Supreme basketball jersey. Really, really dope piece. Going to get a lot of wear out of this come summertime. I am super excited to wear this. This is also extra motivation for me to get jacked in the gym over the next couple of months get in better shape and so I can rock this and not have skinny toothpick arms. So there you guys go. That is a like $1,000, $1,500 Bape Hypey Supreme haul. Now let's get going. Downtown. I come downstairs and all I see is Misty bathing in the sun. <laughs> you look so majestic, Misty. You look so majestic. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Oh, uh, let me just let me just play with your paw because it's really fun. Look at this chicken wing. Look at this chicken. <laughs> the curtain is like a blanket for her. It looks so freaking funny. <laughs> I'm bullying you. Yeah.
Here is a corny transition of me grabbing some Jamaican patties from the fridge because your boy, your boy is hungry. Yo, I miss eating these. I used to eat these all the time back in junior high because there was a restaurant nearby that sold them for like really cheap. But now, I don't really go there anymore. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Misty. Misty. <laughs> Right now, I do a quick little photo shoot with my sister, but I actually gave my mom the uh, Puma tracksuit I got yesterday, the Puma Fubu ones. So she's actually wearing it right now. I'll show you guys. Here she is rocking the bread Fubu Puma tracksuit. Okay. Oh, and the Pumas too. Puma on feet too. Puma actually gave my mom those shoes, which is actually yeah. really cool. So huge Thank shout you. out to Puma. And then uh, now my mom has a brand new tracksuit. There you go, mom. There you go. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> me and my sister are finishing up this photo shoot we're doing for all the Puma gear that Puma sent me. Got some Instagram content, get some B-roll for the videos. I'm really digging this Puma and Diamond Supply Co. tracksuit. Summer vibes without a doubt. I messed with this heavy. And then uh, I always bring out a second pair of shoes with me no matter what. So I get some extra content whenever we're outside shooting photos because I pay my sister to take photos now. She ain't cheap. She ain't cheap, yo. It's not fair. It's not fair out here because it's like unlimited work for her because I'm always shooting content. arrived at the Kenchi Toronto shop as you guys can tell 333 Bloor Street West and I'll give you guys a quick little preview of what's at the store they just restocked a bunch of shark hoodies the selection is crazy right now I also dropped off some sneakers for sale and honestly this is probably one of the best places you can come for babe and supreme in Toronto <laughs> the little teaser of the store make sure you roll through if you can if you're in the downtown area it's right near st george station so if you're on the ttc line quick little like one minute walk here with richard and nate in the back yo follow me at richard Markey. there you go 